G'day, you mob, and welcome back to the Pouch series that I am doing with my friends Greg and Jake from the podcast called The Pouch, all about Australian politics. In the next part of this series, we're going to be answering your questions related to Australian politics. So, guys, it's an advanced English series here where we are talking naturally, but it is a little bit difficult at times as there are three of us all having a bit of a laugh having a spontaneous conversation, and we talk over the top of each other, so don't get too stressed out. If you don't hear or understand every single word that we say, the whole point is to be a fly on the wall and practice your listening comprehension when multiple native speakers are having a spontaneous conversation, and at the same time, you're going to be learning about Australia and Australian politics. So, guys, without any further ado, tap the karawong and let's get into it. Um, I had quite a few questions here about the royal family and the crown and the queen and, and the Australian Who? governments. The <laughs> royal family, the crown, the queen. There were a whole bunch of different questions here from Andres, Malini, Cameron. Um, but they were effectively wondering about the relationship between Australia and the royal family in Britain. Do you want to talk about that yeah. briefly? We love them, but we hate them. Um, they <laughs> exist, but we don't acknowledge them. I mean, like there's a there's hundred different ways to say it, but essentially yeah. um, politically, so in, in the Australian federal constitution, we have a uh, position that essentially is the, uh, is the, um, uh, the embodiment of the royal family or of the ruling uh, person, i.e., the queen at the at the moment, um, in our in our governmental um, uh, setup, uh, in f- federally that is set up as the governor general. Um, so uh, the governor general is the queen's avatar, if you like, essentially the person that acts on behalf of and signs on behalf of the queen. And uh, he's chosen Australia. by the queen, right? Not by yeah. us. No, he's the 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 governor general is chosen by the the the. Uh, political the ruling political party at the time yeah um and affirmed by the queen so okay. i assume she has to that approve at some it. stage yeah exactly i assume that at some stage the queen has to say yep go ahead uh that's exactly how she says it uh, um, hey go for it <laughs> almost but, almost um, dropped the c-bomb didn't didn't drop the c-bomb <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah so it, Invariably, we we have very little to do with um, the the monarchy, um, the Commonwealth, etc. Apart from that, it is you know part of our constitutional uh, constitution, part of me, part of our setup as a as a country. Um, and we do go crazy when the royals come to visit for some reason. Why is that? Do you guys you know get wet knickers anytime the <laughs> royal party shows up in Australia, or is that something you just do not do not no, switch on for? I haven't actually. Had- had wet knickers since I was about uh, eight from memory. And even that was a bit late for me. No, that, that's a reference, guys, to, to peeing enough. yourself because you're so excited when the whole family comes. Okay, I have, I, have a, I have a remotely serious answer for this. I think, like, from my perspective, I, I don't, right? I don't. But I, but I think that that might be a generational thing. And I also yes. think it might be... Um, you know, like a like a a maturity thing in a sense. If you'll just hear me out for one second, right? I think that I think that in Australia, I think we have a we have a we have an undercurrent of particularly conservative thought, and that was evident in our last election, right? Because obviously, all the polls were saying that the Labor Party, the more sort of left wing party, were going to win. Now that wasn't the case. To me, what that says is 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 well. Um, People aren't aren't confident enough in public or in surveys or whatever to say what they're really thinking, and I actually think people quite like the idea. Uh, so I, I imagine that there's an undercurrent of people being more conservative and liking the idea of, you know, what um, we want to keep these guys in parliament as 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 long as there's a, we, we need as many checks and balances for them too. So if this gives us a little bit of of conservative conservatism yep. and a little bit of checks and balances, then that's actually a pretty good thing. And there's a certain, um, I guess there's a certain, I don't know, I, I'm sure it's disagreeable, but the perception is that there's a certain wholesomeness to the, to the Royal family. And we're a bit, they're better than us. We're a bit scared. Except about for, that, right? except for Prince sort of, Andrew, right? If we, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> I'm talking about perception rather than reality. And I think the perception is we don't want to become untethered um, from that. 
Uh, we don't want to sort of fl- float away on our beautiful island nation down this, down, you know, float down the river of larrikinism too far um, and become too independent. So I think from a political perspective, there's that conservatism. And I think from a public perception, um, there's that wholesomeness, that, that sort of, you know, um, that, that family, that, that idea of being connected and all that sort of stuff as well. And heritage, yeah. history. I mean, people, people love heritage and history and having a sense of belonging and connection connection and all that sort of stuff. And they're well, famous too, I suppose, as well. They're as famous as the Kardashians. <laughs> Are they? Is that a fact? I don't know. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you once again so much for joining me in today's episode. I hope you got a little bit out of this episode and learnt a little bit more about Australia, the Australian political environment, everything like that. And don't forget to go and check out The Pouch, the podcast, where you will be able to listen to episodes released every single week from Jake Farwarton and Greg Savage. These guys are both Australian and they're very knowledgeable when it comes to all things Australia, but particularly uh, politics. So, go and check out the podcast, guys. And until next time, I wish you all the best. (laughs) 